Okay, Costco has this FET um, flood security camera. It's pretty cool because it's this floodlight integrated with a wireless camera. The only thing that um, is a little tough on it is it needs 110 to run, so you have to run electric to it. But it's wireless, and it um, stores the um, videos on an SD card, but the SD card is um, accessible for your phone. It records in 1080p, has an extra bright light, um, records a smartphone and shares the video via text or email. Um, 3000 lumens, so the light's not bad at all. Uses 39 watts and um, Wi Fi enabled. It costs $99 for this on sale right now at Costco. No subscription, so that's good. You don't want a camera that requires subscription. Subscriptions can be pretty expensive. Um, it does record to a 128 SD card included and stores up to 10 days worth of video. Okay, I put the um, camera slash floodlight on a stick and I try to mount it. Um, don't do that. Just get the thing plugged into the wall um, and try to connect it to your device. Unplug it. And then when you plug it back in, the light comes on, as you can see. Just wait until the light goes off. Right now, that little blue light is solid. Now it's red. And now when this light turns off, it takes a few seconds, I guess. There it goes. All right, so we got a red light and it's beeping. I'm gonna hit floodlight on the app. Now it's asking to confirm that the light is blinking blue, which it is. Confirm that. It wants the Wi-Fi password. Come to this screen. See, I'll go. There goes something. All right, I heard a beep. So the camera has to see the QC code. The camera is now blinking red, and it's trying to add the device. Wait, 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 wait. We got something here. All right, we got the camera. All right, and we hit done on the top. So it is doing something on the um, tablet right now. Upgrade to the latest firmware. There's a newer firmware available. I'm going to update it. Start update. Okay, the FET camera says the update for the firmware is complete. So far, I got it to work with motion. And I got it to work with um, a screenshot. Um, you could actually do um, a light too. Let's try the light. So you push this button and the light just came on. It's really bright. I have it on super bright right now. There's um, brightness right here. You can adjust it, which is pretty cool. I didn't, you know, most things don't have a brightness adjustment. Um, I don't know if I can get any closer without losing everything. All right. Um, you could do a schedule. This will allow you to set up a schedule when you want the light to come on and come off. You could have the light on from like dusk to dawn or something like that. Or you could just have it come on with motion. Um, you could record video. So right now I'm recording. I'm going to put a 
peace sign up and see if I could see it in the video. There it is right there. There is a delay between the recording and what you see on the screen. It's not real time. Like there's about a second delay. So it looks kind of weird. All right, let's see. And to stop the recording, there's a little arrow on the left up there. And that stops the recording. So then you go back into the floodlight. And you should be able to go to the albums. You should be able to see that one. Here's the one I just made, I think. Nope. I don't know how you get to those. Maybe it's this one here, then. Yeah, there it is. That's the recording I just made. It's pretty good recording quality. 1080, I mean, but... Um, so it recorded that. It's a two-way communication, so somehow you can communicate between the, your device and the, um, the, the um, camera. If you scroll up, there's more features. There's the um, siren. Here, I'll do the siren. Nine one one. It can call nine one one for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. Um, motion. So you could to, to tell it which sector of the motion detection you want it to pick up on. Right now, all three sections are enabled. But if you want to disable it, you just click that, and it turns that section off. It only detects motion in those sections there. The app is really slow to respond, so you have to get used to it. And then you could adjust how long the lights and the record happens. Like if motion is detected, it can record for a set amount of time. In this case, it's set to one minute, but you can set it to like one, five or 10 minutes. So as soon as you get motion, it starts recording and you could adjust it. I don't think there's a way to turn that off. Movement detected. Um, you're supposed to be able to get emails on motion and um, text messages too. All right, here's a cool thing. Um, if you set it up on your tablet and you create the account, you don't have to set it up on your phone. You just put the app on your phone and log into the account and all the settings that you did on your tablet are also on the phone, which makes sense. Um, I would rather do it on the tablet. I have a bigger screen to push and see the buttons and stuff. And then you would use your account to um, connect with your phone. Now there is one thing, shared devices. I think you can add different users to this so that they get alerts as well. Oh, I did find out that under albums, you can click on one of the pictures, select it, and then you can delete it on the bottom here. So I'm going to delete all these um, past images. Let's see. Just hit them all. This should clear out the SD card. So all those images and um, videos are gone now. I'm going to do one screenshot. And then, well, two sheet screenshots. <laughs> and then I'm going to record. If it starts through, there it goes. It's recording now. So all this screenshot and recording is actually going on the SD card. And then to shut it off, I, you're supposed to be able to hit record again and it shuts off. But I haven't had much luck with that. I just hit this arrow and then it saves it. So now if I go back to my home, I go to the camera. And you go into albums, there should be three. Two static images. Oh, well, that's the movie, actually. And then two static images. Okay, so I found out how to get to the um, re continuous recording mode. Um, when you open up your um, floodlight, you go to this pencil on the top right. And there's an SD card and recording settings, and you click that. Um, sometimes it takes a few seconds to get there, but it gets there. Um, 
SD card and recording, you want to make sure that you know, um, your record switch is turned on. Your recording mode can either be continuous or event driven. If you want continuous recording, you're going to have to select that because you can't do both at the same time. On schedule, I set up a schedule, I added one that it repeats and that it repeats every day of the week. So it records 24 7. Record switch is turned on and you save that. Make sure it's saved. Um, if you ever want to format your SD card, there's a format here. It tells you the size of the SD, what's the use space, and how much is free. But um, you save all those settings, and then your camera will start recording live from then on. Um, the, the way to do it is you go back to the floodlight, and you select playback, and then I usually just extend, make it a larger picture like a large and it came out really well that's like maybe an hour and a half ago down here on the bottom you could pinch and you could expand so you get really tight um, time ch choices as far as you want to go at like 501 at 15 seconds or whatever you could pinch that and, and get really precise and then um, this is an hour and a half later it's starting to get darker out um, and it's still recording. So it's really good that you can do continuous report recording. Supposedly you could, it holds 10 days. I'm thinking that it races as it goes along. Um, I'm not sure how that works. Um, but you still can look at live video. Like right now, you, you just select your camera. And the first screen that comes up, you can um, get your live video right there. That's live right now. And you can zoom in. It's set to a focus point. I don't think you could change that focus point. The other cool thing is on this live video, you can turn on the mic and you can turn on the speaker. So if anybody speak, wants to speak out there, they can speak to the mic or I could talk to them right now and um, see that it's getting some feedback because my mic's on and this is it's playing back. So that's pretty cool actually. Two-way um, communication with that. Okay, for now I have it hooked up to um, a pole. We'll see how it works. Okay, after setting up this Fiat electric floodlight security camera, I would I reviewed it and set it up and I think it's something that people may be interested in it looks like it's quality made it is only $99 on sale at Costco the only um, contrasts I have against it are one you're gonna need 110 outlet to power this thing um, not many people have that outside and the other thing is your Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, you're going to need that. And it's going to need to be pretty strong. I mean, occasionally it would disconnect, but then it would go back on um, when you're reviewing your videos. Um, I think this is something that people should be looking into if they're interested in a floodlight and a camera system at the same time. Um, if I didn't have my Lorex already, I may think about using this. My biggest problem is the 110. It's I have a few areas I have 110 outside, but this has to be wired in the outside wall to work for the most part. But if you're looking for a system, this could be it.